Today we announced an initiative, an LGBTQ initiative to prevent gun violence. Much like Orlando, Los Angeles is a very diverse place. It's a district which we stand in right now that I represent. It's rich in diversity. It's also rich in presence of the LGBT community. Unfortunately, last week's events were chilling to us. And we learned that even in the most progressive of cities or states, we could see this horrific type of action happen. And while our hearts hurt, and while we're sad that this has happened, it's also reminded us that we've got to take steadfast action. The, the Senate and both the Assembly have introduced packages of gun, uh, preventing gun violence bills. And I'm proud to author two of them, 1674, which pre prevent the bulk of uh, uh, long gun sales. Because currently in the state, you can only buy one handgun, but you can buy an unlimited amount of long guns. So it's mind boggling to me and almost crazy that somebody could walk in and buy hundreds of guns. And in fact, in April 2014, there was one individual who came in and bought 177 long guns. No good can happen from somebody buying 177 long guns. And sure, it was a law-abiding citizen, but, it, but everybody is a law-abiding citizen until they're not, and they pull that trigger, and they kill somebody. And the second bill which we're introducing, which we're moving forward, is 1511. Because currently, there is a loophole in the law. Because I can loan a gun to a family member for up to 30 days without a background check, and I can loan a gun to a friend for 30 days without a background check. And this person doesn't have to go through a background check. We want to eliminate the ability to loan a gun to a friend because it makes no sense that to purchase a gun, you'd have to go buy, you'd have to go get a background check, but I can loan you a gun without one. It is mind boggling to me that, that there is so much access to guns and that we have a tremendous amount of gun, gun violence. And this is why we stand with our colleagues today to ensure that this doesn't happen again. Y para los medios de comunicación aquí en español, muchas gracias por venir aquí ahora. Lo que estamos haciendo aquí es respaldando a nuestra comunidad LGBT para asegurar que este tipo de violencia no vuelva a pasar aquí en California y no vuelva a pasar aquí en el estado. El Congreso no ha hecho suficiente para batallar al, y prevenir que haya este tipo de violencias. Y como legisladores aquí en el estado de California, vamos a luchar y estamos presentando diferentes proyectos de ley que vienen del Senado y también de la Asamblea para reducir este tipo de violencia. Muchas gracias y ojalá y sigan cubriendo este, este tema porque es muy importante para prevenir las violencias que están pasando aquí en nuestras comunidades. Gracias.